Welcome! So I went to a knife show today, which was very exciting for me, and I ended up buying a couple of things and meeting a very neat person. So let's go over what I bought. First off, let's go in what's in this leather sheath. Sheath says Great Eastern Cutlery. So let's see what knife I got, and it is a buck. Yep. When I bought this, they gave me this sheath for free. So, there we go. We have a buck rush. So, you unlock it, press it down, you get that raindrop Damascus, number 210 out of 1,000, and mammoth ivory scales. Sold one of these at Blade Show and did not buy it, and I have regretted it ever since. So, I picked it up this time when I've seen it. May have been the same one. A lot of the people there also attend Blade Show. So very happy I got that. It was 150. So may have gotten a okay deal on that. Next I got a fantastic deal. And let's look at this. What is it? You can guess from that screw, can't you? It's a Microtech. Bam. You pr guys probably recognize this from my channel. Microtech CMTX 5A, which means auto. But I opened it with a thumb stud. What's that mean? Double action. So you can open it with the thumb stud like that, or push down on the pocket clip. Bam. Love that. Yeah, that's fantastic. This is my second one. The first one I had was in Micarta. Canvas micarta to be exact. Also was not serrated. So there you go. These weren't made very long, so yeah. No box on either of these, but oh well. And I only paid two hundred for this. It was on the table saying uh two seventy five. When I asked about it, he'd say it'd take two hundred, which I ended up talking to him for a while and then saying I'd get it. Although I knew I'd buy it from the start. I had paid two fifty for it even. Last one I sold for I think four fifty or around there when it was in the box and new. So there we go. And that was with Canvas Micarta. The carbon fiber's worth more. Although uh, it has some damage right there, as well as on the tip. So the neat person that I met at this um, show, oh, before I talk about that, they also, the same guy, had a hinderer pre-tack, which is the knives he made before his tactical ones. It had about a two-inch blade, had titanium handle scales that were like machined circles on it that were anodized. Um, it was just a slip joint for, I think it was 300 I ended up not getting it, but I didn't like it too much. It had San Mai Damascus blade, which I like the San Mai Damascus. I would just want something like Mammoth Ivory on it, some of his other things, which apparently his pre tacks don't go for as much. Oh well. So the neat person I met was the vice president of Queen Cutlery Company. It is Ryan Daniels. So... As you guys probably know, or a lot of you probably don't because I didn't have very many subscribers back then, but I owned a Queen Cutlery Trapper. So when I got this, I did have some problems, um, but uh, they kind of discouraged me from getting any more Queen Cutlery knives. So when I heard that the Daniels Family Company, or uh, Daniels Family Cutlery Company, was buying out Queen. I was pretty excited um, because of their pretty good reputation in the knife community. So I was talking to them for a good five to ten minutes, talking about what they're going to do be doing with the company, and I'm pretty excited for some of the stuff they're going to be doing. Um, I heard they're going to be including a lot of BG42, um, some other steels. Of course, they're going to keep the D2, have a lot of ATS34. They're actually going to start going into some tactical knives, which 
I have a paper that talks about that. Um, the QTAC, which was pretty neat. Um, ATS 34, it's a back lock, and three and a half inch blade, one of my favorite blade links, which very nice with ATS 34 steel. Um, I asked them if they were ever thinking about doing BG 42 on here, and they said they could. So that would be simply awesome because the only tactical knives you really see with BG42 are customs. And you don't really see tactical knives with, uh, or really folders of any kind, with D2 tool steel. You see a couple bucks. Uh, I'm also going to go through this catalog in another video as it has some pretty neat stuff. I'll just flip through it. One of their goals also is to market their stuff a little bit better as Queen really didn't market its stuff. So, I'm excited for what they may bring. Yeah. See, I'll definitely end up buying some more Queen knives, although at the moment, I only own one. I've heard they're going to make the fit and finish even better or, well, since I had problems with it, they're going to try and make it so there's not problems. And um, they're working on the company a lot. He said it's a lot of work, and they're in the process of making it a great company. So, I'm excited. They said they're going to be using some exotic materials. I think he was talking about some carbon fiber. Um, G10, all that good stuff, and may even expand on the um, tactical line. Um, I, this is the second time I've made this video, um, so I don't remember if I said there they might be getting a CNC machine, or they're wanting to get a CNC machine, I should say, because at the moment they're just stamping blades out, which with BG42, you can't stamp them out, so they have to get those laser cut. So I'm guessing it would save them a lot of money if they um, get a CNC machine, if they're going to be making a lot of things in BG42. So, yeah. Hopefully it will stay in about the same price range. I paid about $50 for this, which with D2 tool steel, um, you can't really beat it. So I'll keep you guys in contact, or I'll let you guys know what I find out about Queen Cutlery Knives as I'm going to try to keep in contact with the um, vice president of them. They said they may be able to get me some knives to review also, and if they end up giving them to me, I'm going to give them away to you guys, because that's one of my rules. If I'm given knives or given any gear by a company for review, I'm going to give it to you and let you guys know that it was given to me. So, there you go. Yeah, I'm gonna look over this. Let's see what else, what other papers. There's some other stuff you guys wanna go over. Um, there's a Cutlery Collections 8th Beneficial Show and Family Reunion. So, if any of you guys are in Philadelphia, I think Cutlery Lover is, maybe I wanna tell him about it. There is, the Daniels family, that's their website right there. We have Queen Workhorses. Very interesting. It's on the back. Ooh, fixed blades. Are they? Yeah. Interesting. Oh, no, that's another knife, though. Shrat and Morgan. I believe the Daniels family cutlery company, that's. It's a mouthful to say, um, but they also own this. Shred and Morgan. Yeah, I'm going to have to look more into them, find out all the companies they own, a little about them. I may even email him asking a little bit of history so I can let you guys know. Also, another knife show I'm thinking about attending, this is totally separate from the Queen Cutlery and all that, is... The Glass City Knife Show. So this was act. This is actually hosted by the guy that I bought 
the CMTX5 from, and it is in Toledo, Ohio, which, interesting fact, I think that's where Colonel Richard Hunter, Mad Bad Voodoo, um, however you know him, is from, uh, the Toledo, Ohio area, at least I believe. That's where he talks about, so there you go. Um, I don't think Lightfoot is going to be there. Oh, that's the LCC. That's funny. I actually own the custom Lightfoot LCC there. Um, not the Microtech version, but the custom version. Anyways, this is the day it's on. Okay, I'm done rambling. It's been 10 minutes long. Wow, I need a drink. My voice is starting to hurt. See you guys later. Have a great day. Also, if you watch this whole thing, thanks. Um, comment below saying you watched the whole thing, and I'll give you a thumbs up. This is for you guys. See ya.